next few hours, we're going to hear from the family of the protester who was killed at the site of the new Atlanta police training facility. Today, they're going to share some new details of a second autopsy releasing the full report, and they say it brings critical questions. 11 Alive's Ariana Manis is looking ahead at what we can expect. Good morning, Ariana. Good morning, Cheryl. The family of Manuel Esteban P.S. Duran says they will reveal more about a second autopsy that they conducted, as well as detail a lawsuit that they filed against the city as they press for more information. Now, attorneys representing the family, they say that the second autopsy shows Priya and Duran's hands were up when fatally shot by officers at the training site back in January. Attorneys also say the full report will reveal how P.S. Duran was facing multiple individuals who were firing weapons and both the Pian Saran's palms show exit wounds and the activist was most probably in a seated position cross leg when killed. Now 11 Alive has repeatedly asked the GBI for a copy of the autopsy report, but so far it has not been released. The GBI, they did release a statement on Friday evening that the DeKalb County Medical Examiner's Office conducted the autopsy and the agency is still working to protect the integrity of this investigation. Meanwhile, on Sunday, we saw family, friends and fellow activists hold a memorial to remember Pia Saran. Take a listen. It's hard to separate the great person that he was from the way that he left this earth. But overall, we're very happy because we got to know such a wonderful person. Now that press conference is expected to happen this morning at 10 a.m. at the historic DeKalb Courthouse, and you can expect 11 Alive to bring you the developments and the latest information from this press conference on air as well as online. Back to you. Ariana, thank you.